So the next question we want to ask ourselves is what is a pointer? What is a pointer? And, uh, you know, people say that it's a complex thing, it's very dreaded and all of that. Uh, my claim is uh, pointer is a number. That's all. But pretty much everything is a number. <laughs> uh, but pointer is to be seen as a number. And this number is either a zero or a positive number. Right. And uh, what this number is representing is going back to our memory, cute little memory diagram. And again, recall that a memory, we are to think of that as a sequence of bytes, bytes being the most granular, uh, you know, what do you say, uh, access that you can have to the memory. So this again is the memory. And the pointer then is representing the location of the byte or the address, so to speak, of the byte. Right, so on and so forth. And uh, let me uh, let me draw the extra things, which is our instruction buses. Okay, uh, instruction buses. And uh, then let me also draw our data buses. And this was the read or write signal. So my claim is the pointer, uh, the number that we are saying pointer is, uh, first of brain tattoo it that it will either go on the instruction bus, instruction address bus, or it will go on the data address bus. And what does it will go on means? Uh, it means that the CPU will load this number on one of the address buses, depending on the kind of pointer it is. And the kind of pointers is something we will talk about in later videos. But just brain tattoo two things. One is pointer is a number. Uh, zero upwards and it will be kind of loaded onto the instruction address bus or the data address bus and pointer is representing the location right now let me kind of uh, you know um, uh, take you to an interesting example let's say you're the kind of person just you know because you, let's just say you are who likes to you know read books and so but you have like a like a habit what you'll do is uh, you will open up to page number one so this is page number zero so you open up to page number one and you find a number written there let's say 20 and then what you do is just because the way you like to read things right you flip over to page number 20 and start to read from there Right. So what we then say is that this number 20 is the actual pointer. It's pointing to some other location, location in this case being the page, which is 20. And you start to read from there. And who are you in this case? You are the CPU. Right. So in this analogy, you're supposed to take away the following. The pointer is a number, zero upwards, and pointer is where you go and read your data from. Now, in this case, you happen to read it. If I were to tell you that this is like some sort of a journal, you look at the number and then go either read or write. So writing is also possible, right? This is just an analogy. But the interesting bit is, and this is again something that you should print that too, which is the number 20 itself was saved on page number one. So if the book was to represent the memory, the first memory location was pointing to or having the number that the CPU was to go to for the reads and writes. Let me again redraw on the side how you can imagine with a memory related uh, diagram. So these are our bytes and uh, we mentioned that this was hex 0, hex 1, hex 2, blah 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 for whatever reason hex 20 and I think I just think don't you know blame me for this hex 20 I think is 1 4 because 1 I suppose is 16 
and then four to that is uh, 20 hopefully <laughs> if i i made a mistake of off by one uh, please forgive me but the idea is this that on the first location we have the number hex 4 and so the cpu comes and reads this location and then says oh okay this this number here oh that is where i should go and look up for the next thing either read or write so this thing this this notion of a number being used as an address to the memory that is what pointer is right so again before we close this video a pointer is a number right and this number is zero upwards and this number uh, this number gets floated on the address address by floated i mean the address bus uh, is set to this number so that the memory can read that number right address buses and depending on the kind of pointer which is very important and we'll come to and we'll revisit this uh, the type of uh, you know bus that it gets floated on address bus that it gets floated on it might be the instruction address bus or it might be the data address bus right and uh, just a sneak peek if you are talking about function pointers it will go here if it's a data pointer it will go here again you don't have to remember and understand all of this it's just in case that you have dealt with c language before now uh, it is for just those kind of people uh, but we will revisit this we'll go into the depth of it and all of this will make you know absolute sense by the end of the course and uh, yeah these are the two points i want you to remember from this video